So Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a conductor in a circuit is basically directly proportional to the voltage across it. Or in other words, it just relates current, voltage, and resistance for a conductor in our circuit. So let's draw a circuit. And let's say that this is a nine volt battery with a two ohm resistor. So we're going to have some current flowing like this. And this is conventional current, so we have current flowing from the positive terminal around the circuit to the negative terminal. And if we wanted to calculate the current, we would basically just want to find the total current flowing through the circuit, which is also the current flowing through this exact resistor. And we can use the expression V equals IR, which is what we refer to as Ohm's law. Now, because there is a direct relationship here, if we were to keep resistance constant, then if we increased the current in the circuit, then we would have to also increase the voltage or vice versa. And if we looked at it from a different perspective, um, let's say we kept voltage constant, then if we increased resistance in the circuit, then the current would have to decrease proportionally. Now, when we look at the circuit, um, if we look at the positive terminal of the battery and connect the wire basically all the way up until the resistor, this is one single node. And we can do the same on the bottom, connecting from the negative terminal of the battery with the wire until we reach the element. This is another node. So everything on the blue node has a voltage that's nine volts less than the red node. So that means that the voltage drop across the resistor is also going to be nine volts. So we can rearrange our expression if we want to solve for the current in the circuit. We can just have I is equal to V over R. So we have nine volts divided by two ohms. Now the unit of voltage is volts, the unit of current is amps, and the unit of resistance is ohms. So volts divided by ohms is going to give us amps. And we're just gonna find that the current in this circuit is 4.5 amps. Now let's change a value in the circuit. So let's change our resistor from two ohms to, let's say four ohms, let's double the resistance. Then what we're going to have to do is just update the value of our resistance here. So we can erase that and drop in four ohms. And then nine divided by four is 2.25 amps. All right, let's change up the values again. Let's set this back to two ohms again, and then let's update the battery voltage to, let's say, 18 volts. So we need to update the voltage and the resistance again. So we have 18 volts divided by two ohms, and that's just going to give us nine amps. So compared to the first example where this was two ohms and this was nine volts, we had 4.5. So basically by doubling the voltage, we have doubled the current in the circuit by keeping the resistance constant. So by increasing the voltage and keeping resistance constant, compared to the first example where this was two ohms, then we also would see an increase, a proportional increase in the current all right, that's a quick introduction to Ohm's Law, and in the next video, we'll go over an example with series resistors.